Hey guys, I'm back in the garage working on the 64 Impala. Um, let me turn this fan off. Today is Sunday, March the 28th. It's about 10 in the morning. Um, let me show you what I got going on today. I went ahead and got a new, I guess they call it a deck filler panel. Uh, to replace the one on on the 64 um, I didn't really want to get one but it was pretty decent price for it and since I'm redoing the quarters there's really not much wrong with this one other than I've, I've tore up the metal pretty bad here trying to get this quarter panel to, to fit anyways uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and sand this to uh, it comes with the weld through primer now, these panels do, uh, the silver stuff. <clears throat> this one didn't come with the uh, EPD or EDP, whatever you call it, coating, the black coating. So I'm, they say on that other one you just scuff it and spray epoxy, but I don't know about this stuff. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sand this to bare metal on the back part where it's going to get actually painted but on this part here I'm just scuffing it down uh, so I can spray epoxy and then of course the back side go ahead and scuff it down also so I can spray some epoxy on it <clears throat> anyhow um, kind of feel kind of stupid um, I mean that happens a lot sometimes anyways I think I might have figured out what was wrong going on here with this quarter panel I uh, went ahead and cut this metal up here on top because I was gonna have to replace this down here anyway this was pretty beat up where I took this other panel so I'm gonna try to make this piece here and this uh, lip with this uh, little flange here um, I'm waiting on a bead roller uh, from Arbor Freight and, uh, can't find one in stock here ordered it online says they're back ordered uh, I'm also trying to get a 30 inch or 36 inch brake. Um, of course, it's not here, also, and I'm not going to order it online because they sh charge you, I think, like almost 100 bucks for shipping. Anyways, when I took off this old quarter panel here, <clears throat> I had pieces of metal. There's three pieces of metal here. There's your quarter panel goes wedged in between this and here and then this one and then then you have this piece of metal here that comes up from this uh, brace from this roof support I guess what you would call it but anyhow uh, this was well I had some pieces of metal well was still attached to here where I didn't get it off and they were beat up bent and kind of out of shape uh, doubled over whatever you want to call it and I'm thinking that that's where that quarter was hitting right here where it was not letting it go go in further um, <clears throat> so anyway I cleaned this up some more I fitted the old quarter on here and well the new old quarter uh, I guess I forgot to tell you guys I ordered a new quarter panel too but anyways fitted the new old quarter back on and it seemed to have fit better and closer to this still have a problem in the back area um, I'm gonna, either way I'm gonna have to wind up cutting that quarter panel on top to get my gap towards the trunk and that back area but it sure did seem to fit a lot better and closer to this to this edge it's not as far apart as it was and I wasn't having to force it clamp it and force it together it pretty much went and I just put some clamps there and it, it looked okay so yeah um, I'm thinking that was the problem and like I said I feel pretty stupid but uh, my wife finally came out here one day and she got to looking in there and looked and looked and said well it looks like you got you know pieces of metal there that's you know not doesn't look right so I finally ended up cutting this section piece out and it, sure enough it was right in there and sometimes it takes another set of eyes to see something that you're overlooking or missing or, or refuse to 
um, to look at so anyhow that's the situation on the quarter panel from hell so <clears throat> anybody out there want to buy a 64 quarter panel 64 Impala quarter panel uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably use the new one I went ahead and ordered uh, that old one is sitting up on the wall up there uh, probably just gonna go ahead and keep it maybe I can sell it here locally in town get something out of it uh, the other quarter panel is over here around the corner in this mess still in the box I uh, pull, did pull it out one time it uh, some fair, I mean good shape it didn't come dented like the other one the first one I ordered on the back end it was folded in where the tail light panel goes I had to pull it out but that one's in good shape uh, but yeah that's what's going on with that so I'm probably going to go ahead and use the new one that I ordered on here and that's the situation there so I'm going to work on epoxy primer in that uh, deck lid panel and take this one off take the hinges off put them on the new panel and hopefully I can get it right where it can line up and not have any problems uh, I was looking over this deck lid it looks fairly easy to come off it's not really I mean it's spot welded on these corners up here on this edge here and back over there and pretty much it looks like it'll come off uh, everything looks to measure the same I've done some measurements but who knows with these aftermarket panels you never know uh, so anyway guys I'll uh, stop rambling and I'll uh, bring you back when I get that in epoxy primer and uh, go from there so again thanks guys for watching and I'm gonna try to get those stickers out uh, Monday uh, try to get most of them out and uh, during the week as you go during the week so thanks guys hey guys I'm back in the garage oh hold on just a minute Turn off the radio. Um, I got this deck filler panel uh, and epoxy primer so I finished that part up came out pretty nice uh, no runs And see, uh, here's the back side of it. So I guess the next step will be to get that uh, that old one out and uh, try to get the trunk hin hinges mounted. So yeah, I'll go from there. And I also got these that firewall piece that I had taken out. I got it in epoxy. Uh, this one I did have a couple of runs in it But that's stuff that's going to be hidden. It's not really going to be seen. I just wanted to get it in Epoxy so it wouldn't rust. Uh, I remember I think it was last Was it last weekend? I guess yeah last weekend I had sandblasted it <clears throat> So yeah getting a little bit of stuff done anyway I'm about to run out of epoxy. I guess I'm going to have to order some more. And so I'll try to upload this video with just a little small update of what I'm doing or getting done. So yeah, and also uh let's see Monday. Yeah, tomorrow's Monday. Today's still Sunday, March the what is it? The 28th, I guess. It's about 4 uh, it's about 5 30 in the afternoon now and i'll try to get <clears throat> them stickers out to everybody that that wanted one so i'll get her try to get some envelopes and addresses and get those in the mail out to everybody anyway it's pretty hot here today uh, i think we made it up to 90. at least that's what it's in here in the shop garage here and outside I believe it's 90 degrees also I think I checked it earlier the temperature and it's pretty hot today really nice day clear not windy so it turned out to be a good day
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm just giving a little update. All right. Thank you.